everyone, this is Ron Esper from Fortinet here at Mobile World Congress and I'm delighted to have with us today Filippo Cassini from Fortinet. Hello Filippo. Thank you for having me sir. Well, you're, you're a regular guest. Um, so I want to talk a bit about Fortinet SASE offering. Uh, it's been a while since we announced the offering and we've did, did, you know, we went through a long journey and we're seeing you know, huge traction for both enterprises and service providers. So maybe you can briefly tell us what are the key advantages that the Fortinet Unified SASE solution brings and maybe what we can expect in the future? Yeah, I think the starting point is actually the history of uh, convergence. Um, so we happen to be one of the largest firewall manufacturers in the world. And when we started to uh, think about how to bring the SASE solution to fruition into the market, uh, we took this convergence of functions as a, as a key driver. Um, what that allows us to achieve is essentially the building not just of an SSE solution but to an entire platform which now turns to have a lot of access, uh, acceptance from the market. Um, in people like Gartner are essentially saying that this is the next step with regards to the implementation of a, of a converge and, and, uh, and scalable uh, solution for the enterprise market. Now if we look at the service provider market um, these are companies that typically own the networks, and we can't see uh, a, better a better opportunity to build an ecosystem where these guys can essentially integrate their networks and our offering and provide a, a real value-added solution to their customers. And what about the future? Oh, the future will see more integration of technologies. One of the other foundational, uh, let's say, development strategy for Fortinet is, this, is the fabric. Uh, that means that the SASE architecture will, will, uh, will integrate more and more components from the fabric, all to be consumed as a service, and so expanding the kind of functionalities that you can get out of the service, creating that single uh, pane of glass for managing both SSE and SD1, and essentially really realizing that vision to the full. And that's really something that will happen in a very short amount of time. And I think we can be confident like we started with SD1, we were the outsiders, we very quickly became the market leaders. We can expect to see that before SASE. I would really say we're working hard on that. <laughs> okay, great. That's very that's very interesting. Uh, thank you much, Filippo. Thank you, sir. Good to see you.